All right, uh, welcome to the Cheese Factory. Um, so let me give you a little update. I can't find my tripod, so we're ju just walking around with me with this stick. So I think the tripod's somewhere. It's got to be. I moved it here somewhere, but I have searched everywhere. I don't know what the hell I've done with it. Anyway, so we got the, the five axis going. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. So I've been screwing around with doing some porting, some porting on um, stock cylinders. So, you know, just here, look at this. So we've been just doing, this is just kind of laying out uh, exhaust port. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm still kind of learning how to make it all happen, make it all work. Let me scooch this up a little bit. But anyway, shop's coming along, still kind of a mess, but we got heaters in. Look at this. Oh, you can't see them. Where are the heaters? Oh, ha, ha, ha. Heaters. Heaters. Winter's almost over, but we got heaters in here now. I'm not going to need them, but hey, whatever. Uh, we'll be ready for next winter. So I was thinking about this uh, chat GPT, you know, which is artificial intelligence. And you, you know, you feed in this stuff and all this crazy information comes out. So I was thinking, what if we fed artificial intelligence all the parameters of a two-stroke and had it design a cylinder? Is that possible? I don't know. So I hit up um, Nils Vanderkirk that, you know, wrote, you know, the Mot2 software that we all use. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I think that that's, that's possible. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's ready for that. It's outside of my, what I could possibly do. I can't, I couldn't figure that out. But it seems like this could be really cool, right? I don't know. So comment if you have any thoughts on this, if you think it's possible, if you think we could somehow start utilizing some of this stuff to make horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. That's where we are. See you later.